What's up guys, welcome to V-Sectalization, Nestor Adriansen here again. Today we're going to learn one of the critical skills in Power BI. We're going to learn how and why to mark a day table as a day table in Power BI. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I have two different points. Of course, we're going to learn why marking a day table as a day table is really important in Power BI. And the second point here, as always, I have a particular case where we're going to put everything into practice. So now let's jump to the first point. Why marking a day table as a day table in Power BI? Two points here. The first one, applying a filter on the day column of a calendar table works fine if the day column also defines relationship. However, it will not work fine if the relationship is based on another column. So the second point here, many existing day tables use an integer column with a format year, month, day to create relationships with other tables. If this is the case, we must use the mark as day table feature in Power BI. So guys, these two concepts are critical. Please keep this in mind, okay? So now let's go to the next point. Case. We have one question here, and the question is, find the premium year to date for 2010, and also the relationship should be based on an integer column. So let's do this, guys. Let's jump to Power BI Desktop. All right, so here we are in Power BI Desktop. And before we get started with the exercise, real quick, we have three tables here. We have the DAX measures table, we have the claims table, and we also have the dates or calendar table. If we take a look at model here, we have already a relationship, right? Double click here. The relationship is between the claim date from the claims table and the date column from the dates or calendar table. So that's what we have. Also, we have another column here called key date and the same field, the same column is part of the dates table, right? So we also have the same format. So that's perfect. Please keep this in mind because we're gonna use this new column to create a new relationship, okay? So let's cancel this because we don't wanna make any changes yet. So let's go back to report and let's take a look at the code here. So we have already here a matrix, right? We have year, we have month, and we also have two measures here, premium and year to date. So if we take a look at the table called DEX measures, here are the measures. So the premium, just to give you guys an idea, we are basically adding every single line that is part of collected premium, right? And then for year to date, we have right here the calculation. If you guys are not familiar with this type of calculations, I'm gonna share a link to a tutorial where I talk about these type of calculations, period to date calculations, okay? But basically that's what we have. We have two measures and as you guys can see, it seems like everything is working fine. We have premium here, and we also have year to date, which is a cumulative value, right? So the question that we have now is, what could happen if we change the column to create a relationship? So let's do that. So double click here again, and let's change this to key date because this is an integer, right? So that's what we need. So for both column, in both tables, we are selecting key date. So let's approve this change, okay, here. And let's see what happens with the calculation here. Let's go back to report. See, this is what's happening, my friends. So something is not working properly here because we have premium, every single value, right, for each month, and also for year to date, we are getting basically the same results. We have two ways to fix this. 
So the first way is, if we go back to the code, so we can add another filter here. We can use remove filters, and we need to remove the, all the filters that are part of the dates table. And let's approve this change. And this might fix the issue. And actually it's fixing the issue, right? Just to give you guys more background about these filters here. So we have only two filters. We have months and we also have years, right? But a year-to-day calculation works fine if we remove all the filters within the dates table. So we only have two filters here and that's why we are adding a new filter that removes all the filters within the calendar table. We can also use all here, but for this particular case, we are using remove filters. The effect is basically the same. This is just one solution, but the other solution, which is the purpose of this tutorial, is to mark this calendar table as a day table. So let's do that. So let's remove this filter here because this is just uh, to give you guys options here. But this is not practical. If you have more calculations in the future, if you use more DAX functions to calculate, you might have to use all the time, right? The same function. So the most practical way is to mark the calendar table or the day table as a day table. Okay, so let's do that. Let's approve this change first. So now this goes back to the previous status. So perfect. So let's select the dates table or calendar table here. And then you guys can see the option here, mark as date table. So let's do that and let's see what happens. There is a new window here. And of course we wanna select here date the date column from the calendar table. Boom, guys. We fixed the issue. We don't have to add the remove filters function every time we create a formula in DAX, right? So now the question is, what is the advantage of marking a calendar table as a date table? If the date table is marked as a date table, then DAX will automatically add remove filters to the table, even if the relationship was not based on the date column. So that's how it works, my friends. So there you go, guys. What do you think? Do you find this helpful? So now let's go back to our presentation. All right, guys. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found the content helpful, as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.